Hey everybody, it's Chris Cass. This is the look we're doing today, so if you want to check it out, keep on watching. This is the first part of this new series. So I've already got my foundation on, I made a little mix, set it with powder, and I used a Real Techniques buffing brush or expert face brush to apply that. Now I'm putting some Urban Decay Prima Potion all over my lids, as usual. This is uh, Black Bean from NYX, and I'm kind of just making this little black triangular shape that's gonna work as our base. I'm gonna put that on and then really find the shape I want with this filbert head brush. Filbert, something like that. Basically you want it to look like some really extreme liner. You can take it down on the bottom as well. And next we're going to use a crease brush to blend out that top harsh edge. And take that even further, I'm going to take a pencil brush with uh, Mystery from MAC and use that to diffuse that edge even further. I obviously don't have a whole lot of lid space, uh, so I tend to bring things up very high and put very little brow highlight in, um, but you just make it work for your own eye. Blend, blend, blend. Oh, I switched to a bigger brush and I'm still blending. Next we're going to do that highlight. That's Blanc Type from MAC. Obviously I'm not being very neat about this, because you just blend it in. Now, this I'm just going back in and re-darkening things and makeup is about layers. The more layers, the longer it lasts. Lots of blending. Now it's time for glitter. I'm using my LA Splash Sealer slash Base to adhere my glitter to my eyelid. And I'm going to apply that first with my finger over the majority of the area. And then I'm going to use a smaller brush to get into that inner corner. Because the whole everything is going to be covered in glitter. And this is from Graftobian. It's like a gunmetal hematite uh, colored glitter. Which was the whole inspiration behind this. This is actually the look that I created or did on New Year's. Um, that I recreated for y'all. So just pack that glitter on. Don't worry about fallout. You can clean it up with tape later. Next I'm going to fill in my brow with a little cheapo palette I got from e.l.f. and an angled brush. Gotta have some dramatic brows for such dramatic makeup. Now I'm going to line my eyes. This is a physician's formula eye booster liner thing. And this is the tricky part, kind of, yeah. Getting those inner wings to match up, very, very difficult. I clearly did not get them perfectly symmetrical. You can do a thin line on top and don't take it past your tear duct. That's just to hide the lash band. Then I'm going to line my waterline with Fascinating Eye Coal from MAC. Any white eye coal will work. Then I'm going to take Carbon from MAC. And set that liner and kind of and smudge out that bottom line, darken it up, make it more dramatic. I also threw a little bit of Bulletproof in there from Sugar Pill just because it's a darker black shadow. And I wanted it to get real dark down there. As you can see, this look is very detail-oriented and took some time. <laughs> um, now I'm taking that black shadow above where we placed our glitter to make a really defined point. Mascara time. Flash time. These are number fours from Krylon. And I love them. They're my favorite lash. I had to trim them down a little bit because my eye is too small. 
using some tweezers and some Revlon Precision Lash Glue, which is my all-time favorite lash glue. Putting that lash on. Next, I'm going to do some cheeks. I'm using Dolly Pop from Sugar Pill, tapping it off before I put it on my face. Um, that's way, 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 way too harsh. So I'm going to go back in with my foundation brush and blend it in further so it's not so harsh. Then I'm taking Cork from MAC, and I'm going to use this to contour underneath my cheeks and my temples and pretty much everywhere down the sides of my nose, underneath my chin, underneath my nose, underneath my mouth, pretty much anywhere I want darkness. Now for the lips. Um, I mixed two, I mixed the pink and the coral Makeup Forever Flash Palette colors with some lip balm that I already had, and that is how I created my lip color. Then I'm going to take that lash glue again for the final touch, and I'm going to place some hematite uh, Swarovski crystals on my eyes. This step is obviously optional. If you don't have real Swarovski crystals, that's fine. Find something that works that's similar. It doesn't matter. It don't got to be bougie for it to be beautiful. Last minute touch-ups. And you're done. There's the look, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I have a lot in store for 2013.